Wow. A yeah. big weekend with Art Prize, mm -hmm. but also another big weekend at theaters. That's right. So many things going on. Four brand new movies in the theaters this oh, weekend. Yes, yeah. so and our movie guy, Aaron Lafferty, actually took the week off this week, but he's got a total of eight because there are four more mm -hmm. that are still hot from before. Let's take a look. Look at me, look at me, look at me. All right? What kind of cancer it's, is it? What's the name of the cancer? Some rare what, kind of cancer. What, 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 what's it called? Schwannoma. I knew oh, this. Schwannoma? Schwannoma. It's schwannoma? What's schwannoma? That means tumor, basically. Your chances. So. What are your odds? I don't know. I mean, I looked it up and it said 50 50, but that's. First up this week, 50 50. It's a dramatic comedy about a 20 something's cancer bad. diagnosis and his struggle to beat the disease. You're gonna be fine, man. The solid go. cast is led by Joseph Gordon Levitt, Seth Rogen as his best friend. Angelica Houston as his mom, and Anna Kendrick as his therapist. It's a movie with a chance at Oscar contention. I gave 50-50 an 8.5 out of 10. 50-50 is rated R for language, adult content, and some drug use. Soon after moving into their ideal new home in Dreamhouse, a family learns of a brutal crime committed against the former residents of the home. Daniel Craig, Rachel Weiss, and Naomi Watts star in the mystery thriller. Dreamhouse is rated PG-13 for violence, terror, adult content, and strong language. In the R-rated comedy, What's Your Number? Anna Ferris looks back at the past 20 men she's had relationships with and wonders if one of them might be her one true love. Chris Evans co-stars, reviews have been mediocre. What's Your Number? is rated R for adult content and language. In limited release is the drama Courageous. After a tragedy strikes close to home, Four police officers struggle with their faith and their roles as husbands and fathers. Courageous is rated PG-13 for some violence and drug content. You can't start paying your first tonight. You'll have to start Hatterberg. But I don't want to go 15 rounds, Billy. The lineup card is mine, and that's all. Okay, the lineup card is definitely yours. I'm just saying you can't start paying your first. Well, I am starting him at first. I don't think so. He plays for Detroit now. Moneyball is the best of last week's new movies. Brad Pitt is the real-life general manager of the cash-strapped Oakland A's. He's Billy Bean, a former player, turned scout, turned GM, who changes the way teams find talent with the help of an Ivy League business grad played by Jonah Hill. This movie is getting Oscar buzz for a reason, because it's the best movie of the year so far. I gave it a 9 out of 10. Moneyball is rated PG-13 for language. Killer Elite was a pretty good action mystery. Jason Statham has to help out his old special ops friend Robert De Niro. Based on a true story, Statham not only has to help De Niro, he has to deal with the highly skilled assassin Clive Owen during a global goose chase to finish a job. I enjoyed it and gave Killer Elite a respectable 7.5 out of 10. It's rated R for violence, language, and some adult content. Why would my picture end up on a missing persons website. Hudsonville native and Twilight star Taylor Lautner has to solve a puzzle in abduction. Discovering his own picture on a missing persons website is just the first piece of this puzzle. Not only are his parents not really his parents, they're targeted by trained killers looking for Lautner. Abduction has gotten poor reviews and is rated PG-13 for violence, language, and some adult themes. A boy becomes friends with a disabled dolphin in Dolphin well, Tale. The true story depicts the struggles of Winter, a dolphin who loses her tail in a crab trap. The boy pursues a prosthetic solution with the help of Harry Connick Jr. and Morgan Freeman. Dolphin Tale has received okay reviews. The family film is rated PG. Two guys in masks strapped me and strapped a bomb to my chest. Grand Rapids is back on the big screen in West Michigan. This weekend, 30 Minutes or Less will be showing at the $4 Woodland Theater. Crew spent three months filming the movie in West Michigan last year. While promoting a bad hair contest, actress Rashida Jones told me that her Parks and Recreation co-star, Aziz Ansari, really enjoyed filming 30 Minutes or Less in Grand Rapids. Honestly, he won't talk about anything else. It's weird. <laughs> that's the right answer, right? <laughs> yes, that's, that's a good answer. Did, what, did he tell you guys that you should come to Grand Rapids and check it out? He did. It was weird. He bought us all plane tickets there and told us we're moving there and bought a huge house for us to share. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I'll have more from that interview online and next month when her new movie, The Big Year, hits theaters. 
for more details on all the movies that Aaron's talking about and what's new on DVD, you can always check out his Laugh at the Movies blog at woodtv.com. He's also on Facebook and Twitter, and so he's all over the place. You can definitely follow him. Absolutely. Well, speaking of following things, we're happy that the sunshine now is out, at least yes. a little bit in downtown Grand Rapids, following the showers and storms from yesterday and last night. A very windy afternoon here, so if you're coming down to Art Prize, make sure you really bundle up because it's almost chillier than you might anticipate as you stand outside. Yeah, it's kind of one of those days where you look outside, you see the sunshine, it's yeah. glowing, and then you get out, and it's like, <laughs> woo, you yeah, have to chill in the air. It's colder than we thought. But we're excited because, of course, we've got the whole weekend ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun things planned. Some of the things that we've been telling you about and many others, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, of course, we're on baby watch for <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> I want to say, yeah, I'll see you on Monday. But, you know, you never know sure. these days. It but we'll keep you updated. <laughs> absolutely. Well, we are also uh, wanting to invite you to come uh, take part in art prize activities. Mm -hmm. The top ten, of course, the announcement made last night. But They're going to be still, busy this yeah, weekend. A I lot of time to, take to get down in. here, do some voting. Mm -hmm. Remember, you get one vote for one piece of art. You can change it as many times as you want up until the final day, but you yes. uh, have to be very discretionary. And, and that big announcement is happening on Thursday, October 6th. Of course, it is a ticketed event. Mm -hmm. It's happening at the Voss Performance Hall. But Wood TV is going to be broadcasting that starting at 6.30 on that mm -hmm. night. Live so you'll want to catch it. Park Circle. Yes, very nice. So thanks, guys, for inviting us into your home. We will see you sometime soon. I'll be here Monday. <laughs> <Stay> blessed. <laughs> be blessed, everyone.